Time now to meet the Jetsons, or meet them again, in the case of anyone who watched them on TV over the past 50 plus years. As Lee Cowan tells us, they raised our hopes for the future and raised our expectations as well. We're on the ranch, which is like... In the that. shadow of its iconic water tower, at the heart of Warner Brothers Studios, the future is already more than 50 years old. These are very old, original storyboards from the Jetsons series. There, in faded pencil, is that ever-familiar futuristic family from the 21st century. Meet George Jetson. Everything about the Jetsons is by Alroy was space age cool and in 1962 when it first debuted it all seemed oddly possible from suits to make us fly to moon colonies set. on the moon Manhattan Hilton Hotel half acre moon craters out of the smog zone even pneumatic tube transport these three-day work weeks are murder the Jetsonian future theoretically the year 2062 seemed full of promise. Just ask Matt Novak. Everything from board games to uh, we've got uh, lunch boxes and little trinkets of all kinds. He's a self-described Jetsonologist. As it was. I mean, it's just a cartoon. That's the thing. It is just a cartoon. And, and I totally understand that and recognize it. But as a parody show, I think it's important. He analyzed all 24 episodes from the original series for Smithsonian Magazine making the case that, despite it being a half a century old, the Jetsons still Better sets the bar silent. for and what we bacon. expect. Bacon. And one soft-boiled egg. And one soft-boiled egg. The Jetsons represents sort of this retro future, but in a lot of ways, a lot of those elements still feels very futuristic to us. Most of what animators William Hanna and Joseph Barbera conjured up was for laughs. <laughs> as shown on our million millimeter color blamoscope. But there was a lot about the future that the Jetsons, Jetson here, got right. This is James. I forgot to remind you that- George's video phone sure looks a lot like our modern day Skype. What time is it? 8.29. Thank you. It's all right. His talking watch would likely be pretty good friends with iPhone Siri. Siri, what time is it? The time is 12.32 p.m. That's all gee whiz kind of stuff. But those of us who ate our Captain Crunch glued to the Jetsons every Saturday morning, we still want more. There is a sense, though, of Jetsonian betrayal in a way, because where is the flying car and where is my jetpack and where is my Rosie the robot? That is the retro futurist mantra. There was this future that was promised to us that wasn't delivered. Rosie the robot is often the face of those futuristic laments. Come and get it. She was like a Swiss army knife of robotics. <laughs> Sam Register, head of Warner Brothers Animation, points out that Rosie took the world of push-button convenience one button further. What's incredible is, is their lives were so easy anyway um, that they still would need someone to even make it more easy. Like you have a robot that press even more buttons. <laughs> as beloved as they were and as timeless as they are, the Jetsons remind us our standard of comfort is rarely comfortable enough. Even when we have a world of flying cars and jet packs and meal pills and you only work a few hours a day, uh, you're still going to take that for granted. Besides, at the end of the day, all those cool gadgets are really only as good as the people who use them. James, stop this crazy thing! 